Example 5.6. The state is considering three proposals for increasing the capacity of the main drainage canal in an agricultural region. Proposal A requires dredging the canal. The state is planning to purchase the dredging equipment and accessories for $650,000. The equipment is expected to have a 10-year life with a 17,000 salvage value. The annual operating costs are estimated to total $50,000. To control weeds in the canal itself and along the banks, environmentally safe herbicides will be sprayed during the irrigation season. The yearly cost of the weed control program is expected to be $120,000. Proposal B is to line the canal walls with concrete at an initial cost of $4 million. The lining is assumed to be permanent, but minor maintenance will be required every year at a cost of $5,000. In addition, lining repairs will have to be made every five years at a cost of $30,000. Proposal C is to construct a new pipeline along a different route. Estimates are an initial cost of $6 million, annual maintenance of $3,000 for right away, and a life of 50 years. Compare the alternatives on the basis of annual worth using an interest rate of 5% per year. Okay, so yes, the problem looks very intimidating, but in order to make this easier to read, uh, let's draw a table okay, for our three proposals. So we already, after reading this, we can identify that we have proposal A, B, and C. So let me write that down in this table. So I have, oh, okay, so this is a proposal. It's going to be A, B, and C. And then over here, I'm going to list all of the symbols or letters, capital letters that we have. P. S and A and I'm also going to add the little n which is the number of years. Okay, so let's go with the very first one. Okay, let me pick a different color. Okay, let's make this one green. Proposal A was a dredging the canal, so they need uh, to buy the equipment and accessories for 650 then it has a 10-year life, a $17,000 salvage value. So for the time being, let me fill in the blanks. So we know that it's the minus 650,000. So it's going to be minus $650,000 okay, for purchasing everything. A 10 year life, $17,000 salvage value, Kay. and then let's continue reading. Annual operating costs, and I'm going to underline this one, if it's supposed to be green, are estimated to total 50000 so we know that the $50,000 are going to be uh, an amount that's going to happen every year. That's going to be an A. But then if we keep on reading, it says that the yearly cost of the weed control program is expected to be 120000 But here it also says that this is a yearly cost. Okay, So that means that both the $50,000... and the 120 are going to be A's because it says annual and then it says yearly. So that means that this is already in A. So we can just go ahead and add it and it's going to give us a total of $170,000 per year. So remember this has to be per year. Okay, now we have, we're done with proposal A. Now let's go with proposal B. 
Okay, so we need to line, or they're going to be lining the canal walls at an initial cost of 4 million. And then it says that the lining is assumed to be permanent. Okay, so therefore, we have the 4 million here. And our life is going to be infinite. Okay, then we continue reading that minor, ma minor maintenance would be required every year, okay, at a cost of 5000 So we can put those $5,000 as an A. And then, in addition, it says right here that lining repairs would have to be made every five years at a cost of thirty thousand dollars now these thirty thousand are not an A they are a recurring amount because they are repeated every five years but they do not occur every year so let's hold on to those for now uh, I'll come back to it I want to point out before that that since this is um, a permanent alternative we are not going to have a salvage value okay because it's it's ongoing okay but now let's concentrate now on this these thirty thousand dollars that happen every year so we need to find the a of AOC okay so we need to find the the annual equivalent of these thirty thousand If we go back to the notes Okay, so we know that we're going to be using section 5.3 for this uh, proposal, for proposal B, because it is a permanent investment. And we have already covered this in chapter 4, the capitalized cost. But now we're going to be, let's say, swapping the formula because we're looking for the annual worth and not for the present worth, which is a capital recovery. Uh, in this case, Okay, those, um, the $30,000 that occur every year are going to be recurring cash flows, okay? So, it was recommended in Chapter 4 that we draw a diagram showing two cycles of that just for the sole purpose of identifying which ones are the recurring and the non-recurring. Okay, so we're going to be drawing the, the cash flow diagram for two cycles, but in reality we're only going to be solving for one of them okay so I'm gonna do that here on the side so it happens every five years so we're gonna be drawing a diagram for 10 okay. so now oh, and let me point out that this is for proposal B. Okay, so I have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it keeps on going. Zero to ten. Okay, so in year zero, we're going to have our present, which are the four million that we already have here. Then we have our A every year because we already have it in A. So I'm just going to call it A equals to 5,000. We do not have a salvage value because it's ongoing. But then every five years, we're going to have 30,000. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so here I have 30,000 and 30,000. Okay, so remember, we just, we draw it for two cycles just to identify which ones are the recurring and the non-recurring. So, 
Well, this one, it's in P, this one's in A, but right now we're focusing on converting this one right here. Let me uh, highlight it this way. We're going to be focusing on that amount because we need to convert it to A in order for us to be able to add it to this column. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to distribute this amount equally among 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 years. So it's going to be, I'm just going to write down the instructions here. Uh, distribute into equal annual amounts. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use find A given F. So this right here is going to be our F. So we just need to distribute it uh, into A. Remember, you cannot just go ahead and divide okay? because we have some interest and it's here an interest rate of 5% per year. So since we have interest, you cannot just say 30,000 divided by uh, five years. You have to consider the interest, and that's why we go with uh, the tabulated factors. Okay, so uh, let's do that. I'm just going to do it here. So it's going to be the minus 30,000, find a given F, 5%, for five years, and if you go to the table, you will get minus 5,429, and this is going to be the yearly amount. So this amount right here is the one that we're going to be adding over here. So it's going to be minus $5,429 per year. Okay, so we add them just like what we did on top. And we're going to end up with uh, $10,429 per year. Because remember, all of this column must be per year. So that's how we found it over here. Okay, so now we're done with alternative B. Let's go uh, and identify alternative C. Okay, so for proposal C, they're constructing a new pipeline. Uh, there's an initial cost of six million. Then it says right here clearly that the maintenance is going to be annual, three thousand, and a life of fifty years. Okay, so let's go ahead and input that into our table. So initial investment. Oh, let me make it black. minus six million it doesn't say anything about a salvage value so no salvage value here the only amount that we have annually it's a uh, three thousand okay and then it says that the life is for 50 years okay so it looks way better here than in the paragraph form so it's always recommended that you have a table uh, or you, that you convert your paragraphs into a table view. So now we must uh, compare the alternatives based on uh, annual worth. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that for alternative A first. Okay, so the annual worth of alternative A, okay, um, it's going to be. Well, I'm just going to write the, the general formula. It's made up of capital recovery plus A of AOC. Okay, now let's do, uh, I'm going to separate it into the individual parts. The capital recovery is composed of the present, find a given P at an interest for a certain number of years, 
plus the salvage value find a given f add an interest for n years okay so let's go ahead and plug in the values okay so it's going to be 650,000 it's already in negative so it's minus 650,000 find a given p at 5% and then we take the life, which is 10 years, plus the salvage value, which is 17,000, find a given F, add an interest, and it's also, oops, let me put, write down the interest, 5%, and 10 years. Okay, so if you go to your tables, uh, tabulated factors, all that, you should get minus 82,824. Okay, but this right here, what would you just solve for? This is uh, the capital recovery part only for a live of 10 years. Okay. So let's continue with the second part. We need the A of AOC. We already calculated that one, so it was just a matter of uh, putting these two together. So it's negative and negative. So we already have the total here calculated. So it's minus 170,000. So if we are to calculate the total annual worth of A, it's going to be minus 82,824 minus 170,000. The answer for this one will be minus 252,824. So we have the answer for the first one. Now, let's go with alternative B. For alternative B, I'm still going to write down the same formula, the annual worth of B. So it's going to be the capital recovery plus A of AOC. Okay, now for the capital recovery part, let me write down the formula again. Uh, well, for this one, it's going to be different because we mentioned that it's infinity. So we cannot write it down this way because our ends would be infinity. So if I go back to this, this is a formula that we are going to be using. So basically, it's going to be the present or the initial investment times the interest. Now, I want to show you something in the tables on where this is coming from. Um, any table. So let's take the 5% table. If we go to this column right here called capital recovery, okay, uh, which is exactly what we're trying to calculate right now, uh, and we go down the column. So notice that for one year it starts at 1.05, then it starts g getting down to so 0.17, uh, 0 0.106, 0 0.08. If you go down the table, down, 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 you're going to see that as your n increases, your column is approaching 0.05. Okay, so and it turns out that this is the 5% table. So for the find A given P or the capital recovery column, as N increases, then it tends to approach the interest. Uh, same thing for all of the tables. So let's look at 6%. If you look at the capital recovery column, notice how it starts decreasing I don't want to get you dizzy, guys, <laughs> but it starts approaching 0 0.06, so it starts to approach the interest. 
the 6% table. So that's why here it's going to be the present worth times the interest. Okay, because we have a very, very large n. In this case, it's supposed to be uh, infinite. So that's why it approaches the interest. And well, for the capital recovery, that's what the column uh, it's going to be about. So therefore, uh, for proposal B, since we have a permanent alternative, our capital recovery is going to be calculated by multiplying P times I. Plus remember that we do not have a salvage value. Okay, so this one's easier. It's going to be minus 4 million, because that's how much uh, this costs, times the interest. 0.05 which is going to give us minus 200,000 just as a side note here this would be the capital recovery for an infinite life okay then we continue with the A of AOC We had the A here, and we already calculated uh, the A for the $30,000. So we do not need to make any uh, extra calculations. We already did that. So we already have our total, which in this uh, proposal is going to be minus 10429 We have our two components. So we are ready to calculate the annual worth of proposal B minus 200,000 minus 10,429 which gives us a total of minus 210,429 So here's proposal B we're not done. We have a third proposal, proposal C. So if we want to know the annual worth of proposal C, same process of capital recovery plus A of AOC. Kay. Now for this one, note that it says 50 years. Um, it depends on how you want to see it because the alternatives for example, alternative B, even though it says it's permanent or that it's infinite, it's not literally infinite, right? So it's just a very big N. Some people may consider 50 years as a permanent alternative, but I'm just going to go with this rule uh, right now that if the table contains N equal to 50 or any number, N equals to any number, then you go with the formula and you do not consider it uh, as a permanent. So in this case, for the 5%, it goes up to 100. So up to 100, then I recommend that you go with the regular formula. And then after that, you may consider uh, your alternative permanent, okay, if you have an N greater than that. So let's go with the formula, the capital recovery formula. In this case, we have minus P, find a given P at an interest for N years, plus the salvage value, find a given F, I percent, and N. So for part C, proposal C, we do have a P, but we do not have a salvage value. So it's going to be minus six million, find a given P at five percent and let's use the uh, fifty years and we do not have a salvage value so you can just say that this right here is zero so you can just go ahead and add a zero or just leave it as is okay so we just compute that part and that's going to give us minus 328,680.
Okay, so this one right here, just a side note. What he did here is to compute the capital recovery for 50 years without salvage value. Yeah, so there will be instances in, where you're in which your salvage value is zero or it's not given. So you just uh, take that part off from the formula. And then the second component, A of AOC. This one was uh, pretty straightforward because it only gave us one uh, amount. So it's the annual already. So we just need to plug it in here, minus 3,000. We bring everything together for annual worth of C. So it's minus 328,680 minus 3,000. And the total will be minus 331,680. Okay, so we have all three answers and we need to pick one so we have minus 252,000 minus 210,000 minus 331 we select the numerically largest one which in this case would be alternative B or proposal B so I'm gonna put it uh, over here at the bottom Oops. proposal B. 